What's good guys, today we're going to be breaking down this really cool organic 3D type effect that's used on Apple's iPad wallpapers and also all over the internet. This is a really fun, simple, and beautiful effect that's really easy to get the hang of, so let's get started. First, we're going to do this effect on a simple shape on a curvy organic line, and then we're going to later finish it off with the complicated Apple type effect that takes a little bit more time. So we're going to open up Adobe Illustrator and set an artboard of 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. And I gathered an image reference of what we want to recreate. I'm just going to drag that into Illustrator. And then we're going to, on the left tool panel, click on the pen tool to create that simple line mimicking the shape. We're just going to draw this line shape really quickly. and we can always go back and refine it using the Bezier curve. But we're just gonna click around, left and right, left and right, zigzag. All right, after it's traced, we're gonna go back to the toolbar, click on the direct selection tool, just diagonal on top of that bar. And then we're gonna click on whatever anchor point we want and then just slowly refine it to our liking. So we're just gonna play with that and then curve it a bit more. And sometimes there's no Bezier curve tool. So all you have to do is click the anchor point that doesn't have it. If you wanna add it, you just simply press the anchor point and then you go on the top next to the convert and then click on the convert selected anchor points to smooth. All right, after we have all those lines completed, what we wanna do is draw two circles with different colors on it. Let's make sure that the circle's size is the same as the image we're trying to trace over. So we're just gonna copy that. And the image, we see that there's four types of colors. There's a blue to green and there's a yellow to orange. So we wanna mimic that on the circle colors as well. So let's make both of these circles a linear gradient. And then we're gonna open up the gradient panel so we can customize the specific color that we want. All you have to do is click on that white and dark blue. As we click on that color circle and press the eyedropper, we can just click on the image reference. See, I'm taking the yellow from that image, going back to the gradient and changing that dark blue to an orange. And we're going to do the same on the right from the blue color and the green. We're going to go to gradient panel. We're going to click on that white to make it a green and then that dark blue to make it a blue. What we want to do next after we have the gradients for both circles, we're going to go to object. We're going to go to blend and now we're gonna hit make and after we hit make you can see that there's a sequence of these circles coming together to form and try to mesh those two colors together and we wanted to make it more smoother so we're gonna hit object and go back to blend and then blend options on spacing we're gonna select smooth color scroll down and we're gonna just hit specified distance and once we hit that you can already see that the blending mode is that much more smooth so we're gonna hit OK. Next up, we're gonna select this already meshed color circle, and then we're gonna select the line. And then we're gonna go to Object, Effect, and then we're gonna hit Replace Spine. And once we hit that, you can see that it magically jumps and mimics that spine line, already looking pretty close to the image that we're referencing of. But as you can see, it's kind of weird with the colors. Actually, the colors are the opposite. The top is orange to yellow, but then the image reference is blue to green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag these two circles that already had the same presetted gradient colors command C and I'm gonna command V to paste it and then what I'm gonna do is go back and double click on that bottom I'm gonna select that blue green and on the image reference is a yellow to orange so I'm gonna eye drop that color and on the top two right now it's orange to yellow I'm gonna eye drop it to that blue green and voila it's already looking really close to the image reference what we want to do is change some of the colors and refine the shape a bit more that green that we have is a little muddy so we're gonna open up that gradient panel double click on that left muddy green color and then just toggle between the rgbs to make it a little more blue and less muddy and green i'm just gonna tweak that a bit more and now it has like this really nice and creamy color that's really close to the image reference now we're just gonna refine the shape and use the bezier curves to tweak and move some of the angles and on the image you can see that there's a little bit more negative space so i'm just gonna move that line up a bit more and then drag that middle point more to the right so it's not as long and it matches more with the image we're gonna play with it and push it a bit and now we have a pretty seamless and integrated shape that we did really quickly. So that was a simple shape. And now that we got the hang of it, let's move to the Apple iPad effect. All right, we're gonna drag the iPad image reference of the mini logo type that's 3D onto our Illustrator panel. So this specific illustration and dimensions is very customized. So we can't just do one seamless stroke similar to the previous example where it's just one long path line. This one's a little different because it tricks the eyes and it, it doesn't 
doesn't follow a continuous line it has a bit more of a tricky like things coming in and out so what we have to do is break it up and do each line individually so let me show you how we're gonna first draw each stroke so first we're gonna do that top stem of the M and then we're gonna do that middle part of the M by itself and then we're gonna illustrate the last remaining M on the right hand side then we're gonna do the I and as you can see the I kind of goes in front of the M but behind the N so we're gonna just cop do that and then we're gonna draw N path line separately and then also the I as well and then what we want to do is draw two circles similar to what we did previously the same size as the stroke of the illustration and then what we want to do is instead of it being a linear gradient we're just going to play with solid colors because that's more of the style of this particular design so what we want to do is i drop that bright yellow and uh, i drop that dark brown and then we're going to click on those two circles and then object path and make and then we're going to select that stem on the m and then hit object path and then replace spine and right now the colors are reversed the darker colors on the bottom and the, the lighter color is behind so we're just going to change those two colors so it, it correctly mimics the example we have and we're just going to tweak that line shape next up we're going to do the middle m line so we're going to grab that already blended path and we're going to go to object blend and replace spine so as you can see the path direction is different from this one from the reference we have it's it looks like it's going behind but right now we have the path going forward in a way so let me show you how to reverse that easily we're going to select that specific path and go to object blend and then reverse spine so once we click on that you can see that the direction of the 3d effect changed so it looks like it's coming at us versus going behind and we're gonna tweak the color so it matches their reference so next up is the right hand side of the M. This one's tricky because the directions go from back to front to back to. So if we just did one seamless line, it wouldn't be able to copy this particular 3D style. So what we want to do is cut the line in the middle. So we have one coming back to the front and then we have uh, front to back. We can make that effect. So let me show you how to do it. We're going to go to the cut scissor tool and we're gonna cut the middle of the line. Once we do that, it's gonna split the design into two different lines so we could play with the dimensions and colors. All right, so we're gonna create four different circles and then eye drop from dark to light and then to light to dark. We're gonna go to object, blend, and then make for both of them. We're gonna do the top line first. We're gonna click on that blended object and then the first line, go to object, blend, and then replace spine. And that's looking really good. We're gonna select the bottom one and do exactly the same thing. Select both, object, blend, and then replace spine. And as you can see, this 3D effect, it looks like it's coming forward versus we want it to look like it's going back. So what we wanna do is click on that, go to object, blend, and then reverse spine. And that helped it to look like it's going in the back, exactly like the reference we have. Next up, we're gonna do I. So similar, object, blend, make we're going to select that eye line go to object blend replace spine and the directions are different as well instead of it going forward we're going to make the direction of that line going back we're going to go to object blend and then reverse front to back and as you can see it made the correct direction of where that line is supposed to go in terms of the shadow we're going to draw that dot of the eye up there and then now that we're halfway there i'm going to start to make a composition so we can isolate that and do like a side by side comparison of the example to what we're actually creating so next up is the right hand side of the end and you can see that it's using the same effect as the M on the right hand side that we used to split up both of them so we're just gonna copy the, exactly the same thing so I'm just gonna command drag to copy that line and now I'm just going to select the color and tweak it so the middle area is this light pink and then it goes back to the darker pink color as well that's looking really good we're gonna do that remaining eye on the right hand side so we're gonna draw those two dots again make those colors similar to that light pink to dark pink we're gonna draw those two circles and I drop that light pink to dark pink. Go to object, blend, and make. And then we're gonna object, blend, replace spine. And we're gonna dot that eye. And lastly, we're missing the end stem. And the reason why we did this last is because it looks like it's a linear gradient versus it being um, from dark to light to light to dark. It looks like it's going from this orange to pink straight versus it going up to down. So we're gonna just draw that stem color. We're gonna do exactly the same thing and color it differently. Draw those two circles. I drop that light orange to pink. 
object blend make okay and then we're gonna go to object blend and replace spine now that we have all the letters in their place we're going to tweak the shape of it and some of the colors to make it brighter and more in sync with the image reference that we have so we're just gonna use the bezier curve tool to clean things up a bit more move things around let's draw some guides on the top and bottom to make sure everything is leveled and straight let's tweak it so everything lines up with those guides and right now the gradient on the end stem is different from the image reference because it's more like from left to right right now we have it from pink upwards to orange so we're gonna go to object and then expand there's gonna be this box we're gonna hit ok so now it's just one whole shape what we want to do is click that color and change the color to a gradient tool open the gradient box i drop the tool from that pink and then we're going to select that white and change it to an orange and as you can see that's more similar to that image reference that we have so right now it's looking really good just being picky with the colors we're going to start to eye drop and make it more similar to that mini apple reference for the ipad illustration and we're just going to clean it up a lot more and we're going to use that selection tool to select the specific circles that we want to color and eye drop it to make it more similar to the image reference and that's looking really good i think we have it pretty accurate to what the apple mini logo for the ipad so that was a 3d liquid effect tool that we used on adobe illustrator using the blend tool hope you found this video helpful and that you can make some really cool effects with this tool if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you want to see more videos like these please subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it thanks again so much for the 3,000 subscribers i'm still shocked right now that we've grown this much and this quick so more videos to come please leave a comment down below if there's any tutorials you want me to do and i'll quickly get to it have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you on the next one peace